Your study today of secukinumab, you showed that this is effective, the first drug shown to be effective in ankylosing spondylitis. Talk a bit about the pathway and how this drug works. It, it's the first non-anti-TNF biological to be effective. Of course, TNF blockers are effective, but it's the first non-anti-TNF blocker that is effective. Um, the pathway is, is well studied in experimental models. We know that IL-23 is the upstream uh, cytokine driving cells to produce IL-17A and IL-17A is a very potent pro-inflammatory cytokine certainly in synergy with other cytokines such as TNF or IL-6 or IL-1. Uh, we have a number of lines of evidence that this pathway may be very important in this disease. It relies on genetics where we have different genes that are associated with disease in this pathway, IL-23, IL-17. Um, we have data from experimental models. When we overexpress these cytokines, the animals get a spondyl arthritis-like disease. And we have data from uh, patients where we look in the affected tissues that we see that this cytokine is upregulated. So that's the background for targeting this drug in, in this disease. And one of the interesting things that you found is that the response is rather rapid. The response is very rapid. We see significant improvement already from week one onwards. Uh, for the primary and uh, outcome parameter, ACES20, but also for other outcome parameters. So very quick response. I think that's clinically very relevant uh, for the patients and for the doctors to see that the drug is working very quickly. And also sustained responses as well. Yes, so our primary endpoint was at week 16. I present the data up to week 52, and we see that from week 16 onwards to week 52 is just a flat line. So the responses at week 16 completely maintain the response up to week 52. And also good results coming out in psoriatic arthritis as well? Yes, there were two other trials in psoriatic arthritis, which shows also very good results. Um, ACR20 responses around 60%, so that's very good. And it's consistent with the idea that um, this cytokine, IL-17, is not only playing a role in ankylosing spondylitis, but also other forms of spondyl arthritis, including psoriatic arthritis. Now, that's important because here, of course, we classify patients for the clinical trial, but in clinical practice, many of our patients have an overlap between these different forms. So it's great to have a drug that is working for these different subtypes. And so the next steps for this drug? The next step, are, well, there are other phase three trials ongoing. And um, um, of course, I, I'm not a sponsor of this study, but it would be highly surprising that they would not go for registration of this drug for these indications.